and welcome to the video tutorial for the Emergency Calendar eCal iPhone application. We'd first like to thank you for purchasing the eCal app and hope this tutorial will help you understand how to easily put together any Kelly or Platoon schedule. To begin with, you need to click on the eCal logo. This will bring you to a sample calendar, which is actually the San Diego County Kelly schedule. In order to create your own calendar, you'll need to first click on the Edit Calendar button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've clicked on that button, you'll come to the calendar list screen and you'll see a list of all the calendars that are already installed on your iPhone. In order to create your own, click on the Add Calendar button at the bottom right. Once you've done that, you're ready to make your own calendar, but first you'll need to name it. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be using the LA County Fire Department's Kelly schedule. So we'll enter that now. Once you've named your calendar, hit Return. The key to understanding how to make your specific Kelly or Platoon calendar is to understand the underlying pattern and the rotation or cycle that it works off of. Different departments and agencies use different cycle patterns. For example, LA County uses a 2-4 Kelly, which is equal to 12 total days. They'll do 2 on, 1, 2, then 2 off, then 2 on, 1, 2, and 4 off. LA City, on the other hand, uses a 3-4 Kelly, which is equal to a total of 9 days. 1 on, 2 on, 3 on, 4 off. San Diego County uses a 4-6 Kelly, which is equal to a total of 24 days. While it looks more complicated, it's not. It's just more drawn out. They'll do 4 on, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 4 off. Then they'll do 4 on again, 1, 2, 3, four, and they'll do six off. Perhaps the most simple calendar is the 4896, which is a total of six days. They'll do two on, one, two, and four off. As I mentioned, we're going to be using the LA County Fire Department's Kelly schedule, which is a two-four Kelly based on 12 days. So, since it's a 12-day rotation, we're going to have to pick the start of the rotation, and we'll click on Start. We'll use December 1st, which is uh, also the C Division's rotation. Then we need to pick the last day of the rotation, which is going to be the 12th, since it is a 12-day rotation. Click on End. Once it's highlighted, we'll pick December 12th. Now we're ready to put in the corresponding shifts and their colors. C division is green, so we'll add the green first. The first, the third, the sixth, and the eighth. Then we'll add the black, which is the second, and the fourth, the ninth, and the eleventh. Then we'll add the red, which is the fifth, the seventh, the tenth, and the twelfth. You need to remember that you only should add one rotation. You don't need to add weeks or months, simply based on the rotation. Once we've done that, we'll go to Save. And you'll now see that LA County has been added to our list. To view the calendars, hit the View Calendar button. Here you have LA County. To scroll through the months, hit the arrows next to the month, and you'll see that the calendar has been added from here until you retire. Likewise, the other calendars are still here, which we find by scrolling through them using the Scroll Calendar button at the bottom. To erase these calendars, go back to the calendar list screen. The ones you don't want, delete. This way, whenever you open your eCal application, it'll go directly to your schedule. This concludes the first part of our tutorial, which is how to make a calendar. In the next section, we'll be working on notes and adding multiple calendars. We'd like to thank you again for buying the eCal application and wish you a long and safe career. Thanks.